concerns are mounting about protecting our privacy online after Google announced big changes to the way it handles everything it knows about all of us. Starting in March, two months from now, Google officials say they'll start combining information about what we all search, what we watch on YouTube, and how we use dozens of other Google services. And they'll combine this information all in one place. That is, if you have a Google account. Company officials say the new policy is simpler, easier to understand, and will help them deliver better search results, among other things. But privacy advocates argue there is no way to opt out of this kind of sharing unless you close your account. Uh -huh. Lori Rothman from the Fox Business Network is here. Google's still collecting all of this information? Yes, about all I certainly detect a bit of sarcasm there on your, on your part. Certainly, it's unbelievable because Google here is saying they're not only going to take all the information, which they have been monitoring for quite some time, but they're going to give you a profile. They're going to collect all the data, everything you watch on YouTube, everything you search for, and they're going to combine it. And they're saying, as you just pointed out, Shep, that they're going to make it easier for you. So say you look for... Jaguar on the search engine, they're going to know automatically if it's for the cat or the car. But we know Google's under stiff competition, stiff pressure from Facebook and Apple, and they're looking to monetize any way they can. And this is getting attention on Capitol Hill. It is. In fact, we've heard some from some some lawmakers, Representative Ed Markey, Senator Richard Blumenthal, the Democrats, both of Connecticut and Massachusetts before that. Here's a quote I pulled from Richard Blumenthal. He put this on his blog today. These harmful impacts could range from the inconvenient, in other words, spoiling a surprise party, to the truly harmful popping up a calendar reminder about an evening job interview while you're still at work. So the key here, no opt out. It all goes into effect March 1st. You can bet federal regulators are going to be looking into this privacy issue. I bet lawyers are too, Lori. Thanks very much. Let's bring in the legal experts. Our Arthur Idala and Randy Zellin are here as they always are this time of day. Wait a minute. They, they're going to collect everything we do. They're going to know everything we search. They're going to put it in one place. Then what are they going to do with it? Then what are they going to do? Then who are they going to sell it to? How valuable is this? And how dare they, one might ask, collect all of that stuff about us when they have a monopoly on the whole dang thing? Well, that's the question. That is the question. Do they have a monopoly on the whole damn thing? Because if they do, they're in one thing, and if they don't, they're somewhere else. Because I don't think they have a monopoly on the whole damn thing. There's Yahoo, there's Bing, there are other search engines that are out there that quite frankly, Shepard, I'm a huge Google guy, if this goes into effect, I will just, you know how it works, you pick your choose your engine. I know exactly how it works, but have you ever... I'll just go somewhere else. You know, no disrespect to any of these other search engines, but have you used the Bing? Have you used the Yahoo? No, but no, I know well, do you know why you haven't? Because Google's the best. Because they suck. Because Google's the best. Google's I the best. I understand that. But if all of a sudden millions of people start going to the Bing and start Oops. going to MSN and start going to other places, you watch them improve in, in their quality of of product in the other ones because I won't use Google anymore. Well, you know what though? They've already got it. They have all this information on stuff we've been doing forever. The one thing they haven't yet done, as far as we know, is combine it all in one place. If I want a more intuitive experience, I'll talk to myself. Just what I need. Have my wife or someone go onto my Google account and see, oh, Randy, gee, we noticed that you spent three hours on the Victoria's Secret website. Hmm. <laughs> How interesting. No, 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 no. This is not capitalism. This is an invasion of privacy at its worst. This is our individual, personal, mind your own darn business. Not at the expense of capitalism, at the expense of leave me alone. And you know what, Jonathan? It's, it's, maybe I want that sort of better interactive experience. Maybe if I'm searching for a Jaguar car that I want to buy, and the next time I search for Jack, maybe I want that sort of experience. But if I don't, shouldn't I be able to say, I don't want that. I want to opt out of this. I'll, I'll take my chances yeah, the old it, way. It is the way of the world. And I think if you do these things, that's what's going to happen. I'm not sure we can fight it. I, I, Shepard, I know you just threw it out there, but that is the key. It's an antitrust issue. It is a monopoly type of issue. If there was nowhere else for us to turn, then I think they'd have major, major battles in the courtroom. But because there are options, then you don't want that intuitive experience. Don't use Google. Use something else. The, the YouTube aspect of it is interesting because I don't know of an alternative to YouTube that's even in its league. That, them monitoring that as well, that is something that would fall into that monopoly. You know how you opt out if you want to opt out. You close your account, you don't go there anymore. That's it.
and then your experience isn't going to be what it was because they have everything. Well, hopefully, through capitalism, the other guys will have everything. Yeah, maybe Yahoo will have everything. Maybe become the Netflix of search engines, maybe. We'll see. We'll see.